is a Thomas's English muffin of death. Press A to play. And we're back. And we're back and already lost because I have no sense of direction. Oh, oh yeah. Same. Same. yeah. All right. Okay, so I kind of sort of remember having to go more towards the southwest, I believe, of the map. Southwest. I'm going to check this out because I remember this being dark. I and I like the color scheme of the room. Um, oh, this is the dark tomb, the oh. dark tomb, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this guy again. This is this guy. Uh, oh, he's got new stuff. What is oh, this? Oh, that's the turnip thing again, right? You the can't turnip? beat yeah. that. What was the turnip thing leveling up? Damn you, Andrew. One time oh. item, yeah. Freight, how did I beat you to it? Whoops, sorry, I took a screenshot. That's, I, I, I will never forgive you for that. Just sorry, well, 900 in, <laughs> wow. Well, screw you then. That gold God, coin is actually nice. a Bitcoin. What a cheap prick. <laughs> So stingy. So one copper coin? I mean, geez. It's like, here's a silver dollar. That'll be $1,200. Like, no. Right. Cheeky, cheeky. All right, so bastards. south. So you mean like we should go down toward the bell tower or toward uh, that exit off the screen right there? Wait. Yes. I No, I, I honestly... Uh, wait, isn't... Okay, so there's only one question mark, but that's where we started... Yeah, the question mark is that that like gold platform thing, which is also oh, right yeah. in front of okay, us that, that we don't know what to do with. Yeah, yeah. there's um, also like a musical note I, over I there. I haven't hit the gold thing to the left there, but I don't know how. I can't seem to reach it. Should we go check we that out again? Try that. Yeah, let's go check that. Might out as well again give it a shot. A way to make that work. I feel like it has something to do with the magical tuning forks, but it, God knows how. I'm just chilling out to the music, to be honest. Oh, the music is wonderful, and uh, not at all reflective of the hectic state combat <laughs> induces to me. It's, it's, it's a lot easier to appreciate the music when you're not stressing out like crazy playing the game, yeah. When, uh, when there's no Ted's attacking you, the music is beautiful. Yeah, I gotta say, I really, really dig the sound space in this game. Hey, do you know what you would call it if there were four Ted's at the same time? What? A four Ted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. <sighs> oh, man. We're gonna have, we're gonna need to have, like, a, a Frank Hunno meter. We are gonna have to have one. You know what I mean? Yeah, the Drew, Frank, The Frank pun counts. This is important. We're gonna be depending on you. They do call me tons of pun. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that 2D fork is gone now. Oh, no, like that, well, like oh, there, that's yeah, that's the... Get. Beat his ass. Boom, there we go. Nicely done. Oh, that's the, yeah, yeah that's... Yeah, but we, we haven't gotten past this guy before, but I have a shield me. now. Oh, you didn't have a shield the previous times when yeah. you... Boom, okay. No. Oh, that's... Yeah. Okay, yeah, he's that still... Hurts. Wait, uh, use your bombs. Okay. okay. That's... It dropped, right? That's what happened. Mm -hmm. Maybe... Is he moving backwards or am I just not making any progress? No, he's moving... He's I want... I want to say... No, there's no... Yeah, there's no progress. But it felt like it, so that's... Something. <laughs> What's some rat, rat Right? <laughs> the rat person made you feel something. I mean, genuinely. Made uh, me feel right. something. I guess we'll go down then. So again, this was all one guy. Yeah, like the same. one person. Yeah. yeah, one person did everything. It's kind of ridiculous. Music, artwork. Music. Oh no, the music well. is that's the that's that's life form. So that oh, was okay. actually yeah. Okay. Because uh, with Stardew Valley and Undertale, the creator also did the music themselves. Yeah. 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 This one, uh, yeah, it was life form. What I like about life form is that they actually put their music on streaming services not as the soundtrack but as like life formed and then the name of the album and then between parentheses the soundtrack too so this for example is actually presented as i'm gonna seriously cheat and look on deezer for that tunic and they call it oh it's exciting stuff also yeah i'm your you know Having the having to battle creepy ass robots and everything. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's okay. Yeah. I've got it. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Tunic is actually called Tunic, the album, but the artwork is just really different from the game. Uh, but I remember Dustfall having a completely different name. Okay. 
Uh, Dust Force, I mean, sorry. Dust Force. Dust Force. That sounds like a really epic Dyson. It's a really cool game. And would be an even more amazing vacuum cleaner, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, because he called the soundtrack to Dust Force Fast Fall. And then like there's smaller letters saying Dust Force OST. Dust I like Force. that. It's it's like uh, the music can stand on its own and it's also <laughs> a soundtrack. That's cool. Yeah, we don't really know what cool. that does, do we? Nope. Okay. On the one hand, I feel like I, I need to hit this thing, but on the other hand, I feel bad doing it. You should feel bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also, you should hit it, but it's... Yeah, hit it. I got something, I guess, but... Hit it harder. I, I already killed it. Hit it again. Hit it more. <laughs> Find another one to hit. Hit me, baby, one more time. <laughs> And we bring it back to Britney. Well done. And well embarrassing, done. actually. Britney, Britney, Britney's like Rome. Everything always just gets back to the Britney. All roads lead back to Britney. I mean, yeah. it seems that way in clubs. The last time I heard Toxic, it just comes out of nowhere. They're just, everything is happening. It's just all normal, modern music, and then suddenly Toxic happens to you. I'm fine with that, actually. Yeah, no, I yeah. am too. It's just yeah. that Toxic is still something that happens to you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Toxic would go really well with this actually right now. Oh yeah? <laughs> Can you just picture a montage with a little fox just beating up these machines with Toxic playing in the background? That'd be amazing. I'd pay good money for that. I'm embarrassed to say I'm still hearing the What Does the Fox Say sound, uh, song in the back, of, the back of my head. So not cool. Not a man of Drew, not geez. a man of culture, I see. Yeah. I am not a man of culture. It's a bit embarrassing. Oh god. Me? Oh yeah, no, there's no okay, yeah, that's that's bad. That's that's nope. That's the opposite of good. Uh-huh. Uh that's yeah. that's how I would describe it, yes. Is like it, it's it's the not good. Yeah. Ungood. I think is that it'll be called, you know, the Generally not good. I think that's a technical term. Yeah. It's, uh... Yeah. The the ungood double plus ungood perhaps. I'm glad we have the jargon down. Now we're getting it. Uh... Now we're getting into Kingdom Hearts territory though with the ungood. Like yeah, I was gonna say like, we're we're we are kind of that or 1984. You know, just huh. double plus ungood. You know. Oh, good. Very good. Well, you know, I'm I'm preparing us for the world. To yeah. No. Uh, 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 oh, this was great. Yeah. This worked out very well for me. It's fantastic. Yeah, actually. those people were all up on you. It's exactly what I wanted. I'm okay. just not gonna say anything. I'm just yeah. Yep, just gonna just gonna keep just keep on going. Just keep on trucking over here. Hey buddies. Hi. Hi everyone. Yes, I am your friend. Hello. They're all very psyched about following you. It kind of looks like you're famous. You got this whole entourage. Exactly yeah. right. They're just they're all chasing me. They're all hoping to be the one. Pounding it's like Beatlemania. Exactly. Ow. Ooh, that's not okay. Okay. All right. Is that ungood? Uh, that's a one-time use. Okay. What did I do? Whoa. I'm sorry. I'm saving all kinds of screenshots to your uh, your profile. And I don't know if that's I'm, good or bad. Obviously, but... I'm judging you for it. Yeah. It's yeah. It's, <laughs> your friends are gonna be like, "What are you doing? Why are you play, taking play, random play, screenshots?" Playing a game, they're just gonna see screenshots of a cute, cuddly little fox. That's that's gonna that's gonna. They're gonna be like, "Oh, of course. There's a cute little fox. Freak is taking pictures." <laughs> <laughs> that seems like, like a game freak speed. Well, it doesn't look hard, so they exactly, would never yeah, know. Yeah. They don't know. That looks like a cute little relaxing game. That That's right up his alley. Just yeah, like, that, that looks like a Star Wars-esque. Hmm? OG Nintendo was like that. Like, look at all the cute sprites. And then the game just, is bloody impossible. Yeah. So Syntax Error is trying to talk to me, but I have no idea what that says. They're high, all right. Yo. You see the RGB dots? It was pretty yeah. cool, man. Those are the two LEDs that they actually got to function correctly. Everything else is stuck on magenta. Magenta is a good color, though. It is. It's one of my favorites. It looks so evil somehow. Yeah, definitely. It's evil you know magenta. why? Because it's an unnatural color. Magenta. Yeah, 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 so I've heard this argument, and I'm sure that, that there's a science behind it that I'm just not understanding to some degree, but it is kind of interesting to think about. Um, so your eyes uh, generate color by interpreting different wavelengths of light, right? Yeah. Um, well, 
in theory, if uh, wave, if you see two different wavelengths, your eyes should be kind of averaging between the two. Mm -hmm. um, and so you end up moving from blue to red along the spectrum based on whether the, the wavelengths are short or long. So if uh, the shorter the wavelength, the more blue, longer the wavelength, the more red. And theoretically, if you see two different wavelengths at the same time, your eyes will average them. But in order to make something like purple or magenta, you would need both blue and red at the same time, which shouldn't happen. Your eyes should be averaging them out to yellow, and yet they're not. My eyes should be averaging them out to yellow. Because uh, middle of the spectrum, yeah. I mean, if you look at the spectrum of light, it's like, you know, red shift is all the way at one end, which is the longest. Blue is all the way at the other, which is the shortest frequency. I think the middle is yellow. Uh, for some reason, your eyes don't average red and blue together out to yellow. They just kind of make purple. My brain just broke. And a bunch of, like, animals, I believe, can't see it as a result. This this feels weird to me because I just started reading the book Shades of Grey yesterday by Jasper Ford. Which How many shades of grey, though? Just, just, <laughs> there's shades. There's no specific quantity, so that's good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, okay, uh, yeah that's the important part. It's yeah. just, oh, that's actually also the longer title. Just a random amount of shades of grey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Random assortment of shades yeah. of grey. No particular, uh, yeah. <laughs> but that book is about, like, this sort of um, dystopian future where... Uh, America? It, it, it takes place in the... Yeah, yeah. It takes place in what used to be Great Britain, and um, it's like this dystopia that has like this ridiculous class system based on how you uh, perceive color. So people who are more uh, capable of seeing green, they're the greens. People who are more capable of seeing red, they're the reds. And if you're in between red and blue, you're purple, which is coveted. And like there's all these different uh, sort of ranks within society based on which color you're able to see. And there's a lot of weird world building in there, and this reminded me of that a lot, actually. So that's weird, but also fun. Fair enough. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. It's an interesting concept. Yeah. And the uh, number of shades of gray. They're also the number of shades yeah. of gray. But they're like really confused because it's pretty far into the future, I believe, and like they found all these artifacts um, referencing the Wizard of Oz. So Oz is like this big thing to them, even though they're they're aware that Oz was mostly a fictitious thing because they have found out that monkeys do indeed not fly. Um, <laughs> no, they've, they've gotten that far in their yeah. scientific research as a society. But, uh, and, you know, the big one, they they haven't been able to find any brick uh, roads or like leftovers of a brick road with the color yellow, be it natural or synthetic. So, you know, that's the whole thing in there as well. I kind of like the idea that you can describe the scientific evolution of a society via flying monkeys. You know, there's step one, believe that flying monkeys exist. Step two, determine that monkeys do not fly. Step three, become agnostic and skeptical of whether flying monkeys exist, as the possibility still exists, even if your monkeys do not fly. <laughs> <laughs> I could imagine a flying monkey. Right? It's, it's certainly possible, sure. If I were to start a society by myself, we would start by believing in flying monkeys. We wouldn't have long. If monkeys were able to fly, we'd be gone in an instant. I mean, they would just take over immediately. Just imagine the carnage. Oh my god. Yeah. So yeah, much monkey no one would have a face. Everywhere. No one would have a face left. I'd be, be like, concerned yeah. that they're just throwing their poop everywhere. 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 Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I determine how to get to that spot, and I just, boy. Like, how do you even see where, oh, I see where you're going. Like, you know, the, the, the number one um, cause of death would be like, hit in the face by monkey excrement. That would be like the number one, yeah. And not, not death swooping monkey from above. <laughs> I'm imagining like a bar chart. That's a close you know? second, yeah. <laughs> And the bar chart is like, oh, that's from cardiac disease, that's from this, that's from that, that's from monkey poop. Yeah. Uh-huh. It would be statistically significant. Here lies Peter. A gorilla just flew by. Yeah. I mean, okay, if gorillas could fly, it's a whole other level of, of uh, frightening, though. That's, oh, I mean, God. They're so, they're so huge and strong. They would just, but they would just have to decide to stop flying, and that would be it for you. Just yeah, imagine a gorilla exactly. just That's falling on you. So I'm thinking, like, a gorilla could just get bored and you'd die. Oh, my God. 
And never mind if it's angry. I mean, that there'd be some weird poetic justice though to like mankind dying because of bored gorillas flying <laughs> through the air and just dropping. That would, for some reason, that makes there's, sense there's to me. A it's Kurt just, Vonnegut plot. In yeah. There yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just and waiting then, to get out. And then the gorillas came. And then the gorillas descended upon us all in droves and boredom. Just imagining having a casual day, walking to work. Looking up, god damn it. So this is how I go, crap. Well, you know, that would be the other monkeys most likely with the uh, crap, but yeah. Not, not with a bang, yeah. but with a gorilla's whimper. <laughs> or a gorilla's splat. <laughs> I feel like we've been here. We have. I'm not sure where to go next. I'm just gonna explore it. Um, seeing what I've missed. Breaking things as you go. Well, you I know, you can't turn your back on the, the turrets. They will... Kelly, have you ever considered, like, starting your own state and calling it California? Because that would be... That'd be, like, a cool thing, right? You can't get sued really hard. By who? I mean, you could just... But you could open like your own bar and call it's it California. It's the U.S. Everyone, yeah. I mean okay, that is sure. true. Yeah, it's, I could open my own bar and call it California. Yeah. That's true. Because the U.S. the first chance they get, they will sue you. Yeah. That's yep. Yep. Uh huh. It's like a you. rite of passage, isn't it? Like you're not a fully grown man or woman until you're, you've gone like you, you've sued a shit ton of people. Yeah. So I'd have to like pick a different name. You know, maybe Caliber. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's fun. Caliber or or Ornia. Doesn't have the same Ke ring to it. California, yeah, not quite. It just <laughs> sounds like a like a birthing clinic. <laughs> <laughs> California. <laughs> There's this purple line again. Maybe you have to fight Brittany. You know, if only I, I knew how to fight Brittany and not die. I think that'd be a weird twist to this game, though. Brittany really is just kicking my ass, you know? Where you enter, like, another dark tomb and you suddenly hear Toxic and then Brittany actually shows up at, as, like, the end boss. It'd be weird d and d awesome. D d d you're gonna die now. I could see that working out, though. I mean, that, yeah. Okay, so... More purple lines. Yeah, I'm following all the magenta lines, but uh, they're just leading me to the same place. I think I don't know where I'm going. I'm officially... Officially unsure of where to Okay, proceed so we're at the adventure. windmill now. Mm -hmm. You know what I haven't tried? Going up. Maybe if I go up, there will be another way to go. Up, up, and away? We've been here before though, right? No. Yeah, of course, yeah. I just don't know where else to go, so let's give this a shot. Oh, this Ted's coming for me. He's like determined. But Bye Ted. Oof, that that was just embarrassing, Ted. He's not carrying on the spirit of the original Ted, our yeah. Lord and Master. There could only be one super Ted. Ted, hallowed be thy name. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, there's only there's only one true Ted, and you know, you either know that or you don't. That's the problem. Ow. Ow. But move. Okay. Oh yeah, he's, that's not a good guy. That jerk. Mm -hmm. If only I had a bow, then you'd regret it. He bit that. Where have we not been? So I see that that's an area we haven't been, right? But there, there has to be a way to release the the door for me to, to see that. That would make sense. Um, we've, we've... But I don't know where to do that because we've been up here and I can't activate these things. I don't know what I require for we... them. Is there anything over to the left now, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Over here is just trees. I'm a little, mm. I'm a little stumped. Is there, there, and there's no way to climb all the way up to that black one. No, I think you need the, uh, whatever you need to activate the hooky bit. Isn't that the name of, like, a rock band or something? Only the trees or something along those lines? I mean, if not, it should be. It yeah. should be, right? Yeah, yeah, the new, the new band name I called it. No. <laughs> Parks and Reckoning. <laughs> Parks and Reckoning. There was a band called The Screaming Trees. Mark Lanigan passed away recently. Ah. Uh, hmm. Well, that sucks. Fun fact. Not, not so fun yeah, fact. Not at all fun fact. Unfun fact. Yeah. Damn you, Andrew. Yeah, it's an unfun fact. Yeah, downer fact. Thank Keep your you. facts to yourself. Gosh. Yeah, I have a lot of downer facts about music. You should, you should not talk to me about it. So, I mean, maybe there's something in here we've missed? Well, it's easy to miss stuff 
in you know, yeah, this in, pitch in the, black and pitch yeah. darkness over here. Yeah. They did a great job with the lighting. Ow. Oh. You can actually go around, right? With some of them. Yeah, okay, there you go. Oh hey, there's a chest up there. There's a chest that I don't have, which means we missed something for sure. How do we get to the chest there? I knew how to access the stab without having to be the first to move first. It's a million square question. A million square question. I call that. Two. Yo, it's, yeah. they have the most inconvenient currency in this game. Who's gonna carry around a bunch of squares? I mean, this is also a world where there are tongue skulls attacking you, so you know. Perhaps yeah. not the most sensible world. I know, it's world. pretty hot. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? No? <laughs> <laughs> Those are the inside thoughts. Oh yeah. Tongue skulls. Um, but clearly they didn't think about the practicality of transporting squares. You're right, that was foremost in their minds when they made this game about Ooh. the fox who saves the world. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, there's stuff to be done here. Yeah, okay. so we can, we can do things. The practicalities of their economics. Remember activating that skull over there? Yeah. There's there's more skulls. Was there another one that there was there's, another one back here that I missed, right? There's there's Yeah, oh. no, please don't die. Oh no. Yeah, just oh, don't no. go back there. I can yeah. parry? Oh my god, okay, sorry. That was just that's that's an important discovery for me. Uh, isn't there one down and then to the left? Uh, basically go down over there to the left. There should be one over there. The the no, no, you were going great. Yeah, you were going great. Oh, to the, the left. The, the staircase is broken no. here. I had oh. to go around. That, that's the one. Would you look at that? What? Stuff is happening. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So there let's, we let's go. Let's get the chest first, and then we'll be. Maybe yeah. be careful that uh, Satan doesn't come out of that hole or something. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to shield up the entire time. I'm gonna have to do the uh, Dark Souls cheese strategy, where you don't drop your shield until. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. You don't drop your shield until uh, you're certain it's safe. Oh, that's great. I was hoping for a. Ring yeah, with an sword, eye and a sword. Sword pope ring card. That's what that's, I needed. That's my fave. Yeah. Heard many a great thing about that one. So I'm just gonna rush down the ladder real quick. That was smooth. <laughs> Damn. Are there any are there any hearts hiding? That's what exactly mean, what I was thinking. Notice the laser guided missiles and shit. Oh god. So where 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 is the death? The death is coming. I know it is. Death is everywhere. I just but got bombs. Nice. What is this, Zelda? It's officially Zelda now, guys. It's not Zelda because they don't give you hearts when you break pots. You're right. True. You're right. Yeah, that's a part prerequisite, yeah. Oh, man. So many spikes. Yeah, this is not going to go well. It's going to go okay, don't worry. Oh. That's, that's right, Callie. Right. <laughs> There's only one of them. It's when there's more than one you need to worry. That's what is with this stupid broken shell? Oh, oh we got... Oh, uh, done. Nice. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That is so perfect. Okay. We're going to go over this way. We're not going to waste the health we just got on spikes. We're not? Uh, That's We're, we're going to skip across here, though. We're going to just is leave saying? and be, right? No, oh, it is... Uh, the... Ah! No, no, screw... Oh, oh, okay. Yep. That was gotta, gotta brutal. Use the environment. There's a chest over there, but I'm scared. I do. Well, see, why? There's two spike thingies here, so you won't be able to just. But but why aren't the spikes going up and down over here? Because they're waiting for you to step on them. I think. Oh no, that's evil. Yep. Oh, cheeky bastards. Okay, yep, yep. just leave it be for now then. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so that's. <laughs> I'm scared, Cal. Uh... We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Okay, I'm glad that bad guy is dumb. Uh, we're alright, we're alright, we're alright. Ah, uh, you gotta knock him out. You mean with... Bombs. Bees? No, actually... No, just blow it up. All of it, to smithereens. I'm done with this shit. Just kill him. Kill them all. Alright, drop the nuke. Yeah, it was just because I think they're crisscrossing. Where, where's the football? Drop the hammer. Oh, they didn't like that. Uh. Oh, nice! Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. That was awesome. I did not see that coming. Okay, that was really cool. There you go. 
Always keep your shield up just in case. Yeah. Are there any like nooks and crannies over here that we can like down here? Oh, there are lots of nooks and crannies. They're just full of death. <laughs> oh, this is oh my! It is, it is a Thomas's English muffin of death. <laughs> this is why I don't play games like this. I just I I I get stressed out so like stressful. crazy. That's okay. There's always a solution. Ow! And the solution is death. Uh, the solution that is timing was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was pretty perfect, wasn't it? Yeah. There's was... always a solution, guys. And bah. Boom. All right, boom jams. All right, so I guess we're going back to the. Uh... All the way back. Yep, yep. Back so to that the was place. good though. That Dang. was progress. There was like a ton of progress there. Um, okay, I was gonna say. Foxy lady's nice. proud of you. Foxy lady's proud of me. <laughs> It's amazing. Let's see if I can level up while Foxy lady's. Is that proud a of fox me. though? She kind of looks like. Nah, she's a fox. She's right. a fox. Look at her. She's a fox, all right. Come on. <laughs> you know what? Her face model is similar to the main character. Yeah. Even with like the color difference, with, like the chin and yeah. everything. She doesn't have the little bouncing bang though. She does not. No, that's unique to main characters. Yeah. She's and not main trippy. character enough to have a little bang. She banged, but do she? <laughs> no. The answer is, in fact, factually no. Not like the main character. Oh, come has. on. <laughs> that was wow. so cheeky. Okay. What the shit was that? Uh, not cool. The creator making sure that running back to your, your starting place is not that easy. Um, all right. Is there a better save point, though? Before I mean, you unless jump Unless we in? find one here, I don't think so. That's the thing. If we find one in here, then that'll be great, but I don't think so. I think that's the run. Definitely Dark Souls ethos. Mm, yep. If you die, your life sucks. Yep. The uh, run back is the penalty for losing. Yep. Dark Souls. I found it so aggravating in Hollow Knight. That's funny. There was a path through the entire time. Yep. I've been taking it for a bit. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> Jerk. And then he'll just jump after you. Alright, now we gotta see what's over oh, here. Oh, there's a lot of pots over here. Pots. Wow. Pots. 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 Cool. But have you considered? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not. But perhaps Pots you may for want his to and her pleasure. <laughs> ponder the potential of. Pot is for both his and her pleasure. Yeah. In fact, it's also for a non-binary pleasure. Yeah. It's just for everyone's. Yeah. Really. Yes. Yours, theirs. Pots are for everyone. God made pots. I don't believe in God, but I do believe I pots gonna... were made by like divine intervention. Our Lord and Savior Ted. Yeah. Created the pot. It does feel like a Ted kind of a thing to create right? pots. To just create yeah. pots for all for for us all. To be like, you know, I'm, what am I doing with my life? I might as well create pots. Just right. Yeah. These pots die for our sins, guys. Classic Ted. Good guy, Ted. Such a good guy. That feels good. Yep. Oh, that. Feels Always really use the environment when you can. These traps are deadly. Cheeky but see, this is my problem, right? So now, obviously, these are crisscrossing. Can you reach? What if I just dive? Ow! Okay. Don't ever do that again. Shoot him. I don't think they technically triggered the yeah. line. Yeah. Cheeky best. Classic skeleton. Yep. Every time. Okay, so we've gone somewhere. Uh huh. Here's a question: Where do we go, guys? Fantastic graphics, by the way. Really? Right. Oh. Oh. Cool. Oh. This is okay. That was. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> we're just gonna go this way, like normal people now. Ah, so when you knock them down. Yeah, they open each other's. Uh, yeah, you have to be careful. Sight. Yeah. That. 
was actually really useful. That was actually nice. Yeah, wildly terrifying, and yet. Yeah. So did we find out what that thing is? Is it a hat in the end, or? I died. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a it's a fox hat. I I don't feel it. It feels off to be putting this cute little fox through all of this. Can't we just like sort of hack the game and replace our fox with like Duke Nukem? I'm okay with Duke Nukem getting impaled. I I really. I mean, who isn't okay with Duke Nukem getting yeah. impaled? But. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, that's so cinematic. That's hot. It. That's yeah, hot yeah. right there. That's so cinematic. I'm a fan. Weirdly arousing. 